When it is time to return, liftoff from the moon will be accomplished by a small ascent engine. The LAM will be thrust back into lunar orbit to rendezvous and dock with the other two modules of the spacecraft. I started working at Apollo in 1966. I worked on the rendezvous docking simulator. This was a very important part of the Apollo mission. Now, initially, when this was proposed, it was very controversial because it was very dangerous. The astronauts would be doing this rendezvous maneuver in lunar orbit. So if something went wrong, there would be no way to retrieve them, to save them. We, we would lose two astronauts. But it really was the only way to do this Apollo mission with the rocket that we had. Now, the docking maneuver was kind of tricky because they couldn't see directly. They couldn't look out the window and just line this thing up. They had to use a closed circuit television. The resolution was not that good, but that's all they had. They had to do it that way. And so that's the piece that I worked on. Try to tweak the parameters of the television to get the best resolution that, that we could get. Not only for the simulation, but for the real mission. Back in those days, somebody who was doing computing, they maybe didn't get their name on a paper. The engineers and the scientists, their names were on the paper. They were in charge, and these other people were helpers. Well, that's changed. And so little by little, people realized, yes, they're making valuable, necessary, important contributions. They should be included and recognized as an author on the paper. And they've named the next uh, mission Artemis, which is a female name. So things have, have definitely evolved. Space started here, uh, and it still goes on here. Brain power, textbooks, slide rules, the Frieden mechanical calculator, there's no more accurate way to do it. The human brain, <laughs> that's what got us to the moon.